here we are in uh, downtown Pittsburgh. <laughs> it's very nice here. It has like its own little feel to it because it feels like Appalachians and Midwest combined. People are nice here and it just feels like the part of the Midwest, but it's not. Pittsburgh was amazing. I met Miss Pennsylvania, got a picture with her, and a baller time. <laughs> so today, Pittsburgh, tomorrow, Cleveland, Ohio. And wasn't that fast. No, it took me a whole day. But with some clever editing to you in just a moment from now. So today, we are in Cleveland, Ohio. Land of the Buckeyes and the Indians. Soon to be, I don't even remember what they're called, the Warriors, Guardians, something like that. But they'll always be the Indians. This was stadium number 10. One third of the way there. And we got 20 more to go. As we keep her going, keep her going. Uh, traveling the US. Very beautiful, very scenic. Uh, highly recommend if you have the chance and the time and the money. And that's kind of why I made the finance channel in order to help people, you know, live life, do things, and be able to just live rather than wait to die. Because what's the point if you're just working your whole life? not for anything and not trying to experience things because honestly it just builds your character you get to know yourself better and it's just a fantastic time even if you're not traveling if you're doing something you love doing and costs you nothing to do or whatever if it costs you a, a bunch or a little doesn't matter what matters is you find your purpose what matters is you find your driving force. Preferably, it makes you money on the side too. And that's how you contribute to society. That's how you give value to the world because everybody gives off a different value that helps make our society. Money is just a tool as a means to do things, to create to share resources and to just experience life um yeah money is no more than a piece of paper but the value it gives is something that is life-changing and so rewarding if you can do it right um even if you're working as a Taco Bell manager or something. That's still giving some sort of value. Now it represents your value in the market. You still might be getting paid minimum wage, but it represents your value. And you can always work up from there. When you get more of a specialized skill, that's when you make more money in life and you can always do things on the side that you actually want to do. Maybe you're working dog hours, but that's how you grow from it. That's how you start. And when you start doing something like investing or just in general, I don't know. But when the important thing is you get a specialized skill, something that you preferably enjoy doing, because otherwise, what's the point? There's 7 billion people in the world, and there's enough people enough for everybody to do more or less what they want if they really want to try for it all you have to do is ask the universe hey how can i do this what can i do to make this happen and it will help you and it will just as much help you not fulfill that dream as much as it will help you depending on your mindset because you can literally accomplish whatever is physically possible but the problem is too many people are like have this headspace where it's just I can't do it oh I got errands I got this I got that 
Now, if you have a family, if you have obligations, that's different. If you're, I'm talking about if you're young or if you're single or if you're, even if you're older and you're in fairly decent health, you can still accomplish so much. There's people in their 50s, 60s that hit their prime years way past when people think they should, way past when people expect them to. And they do amazing things. Generally, uh, and this is from Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, you hit your peak in your 40s and 50s in your career and just in general life. And that's when you have the most potential actually because that's when all your experiences clump up together. All your previous knowledge if you've been working on comes and works together. Now you can achieve that at an older or younger age, but that's just an average. So I just want to leave you with this. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do in life? Ask yourself this. Take a, take a day. Take a day to just think, oh, what, what the hell am I going to do with my life? Because most people don't really have a plan in life. And that's okay to some level. You can, as long as you have a general outline, a general outline for the next two to three years, just a general outline. Or even if you have something for the next year. Even if you have something for the next year, that's all you need. Even, A, you have a, you have a specific plan for the next day, two days, a month. Try to come up with little things that you can do to make this goal possible. Whether that's contributing $50 a month to investing, starting to do research, um, just whatever you can do to make that first step happen. But it's up to you to figure out what those steps are. But there's a general outline that you can do where you can kind of figure it out. Always, always, always ask people. Don't be afraid to ask. But, woo! We went to Detroit, fellas. But anyways, you can do whatever you want. And you can achieve whatever dream you want in this country of ours, this great nation. And there's no place like this, at the very least. Um, if you're watching this from a different country, I'm sorry. But overall, overall the human spirit is capable of doing whatever they really want to do. If you want to go to America and you're from uh, China, India, Japan, uh, Germany, <coughs> you can. If you want to travel the country and you're in America or whatever country you reside, you can. This is the will of the human spirit and it's more than just about finance it's about the value you give to ours in society and what you've done can help create you receiving value yourself in the form of whatever you want it to be and you can give off endless potential endless opportunity and I would like to end off the video right there by saying good luck to all. And I think you can go far if you just ask the universe, what can I do today that will reach me closer to my goal? What can I do to get me a little bit closer to that one thing or that one dream that will help me in the long run. Have a good day, y'all. Peace.